writing on the wall. Very <laughs> <laughs> Miss Mother. Sound like I know what I'm doing, huh? No problem. Okay. Yo, if you don't have one of these, you gotta get you one. It's called an iPad. Okay? I'm playing the keys right now on the computer. Kevin Cossum takes over NYC. Day two. Did a lot of things in New York. Went to drjays.com and did an interview. That was pretty cool. Ask me twice. I'ma give it to you just how you like, how you like it. Yeah. Woo! That was good. My click sounded as loud as yours, so I was like. But you was on point though. You kept the time. Yeah. You kept the time. Do you need me for the show tonight, or? Could you come by? I already we'll told mic you. you up. We'll mic you up and everything. We'll get your hands mic up. Put a mic on your head. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we went to NYU to have a little bit of Chick Fil A, please. You know, me being from Florida, being from the South, you know, you got to get that Chick-fil-A fix. Uh, we had to find one. <laughs> Look all around the city to buy the Chick-fil-A. We got to get more of those franchises in New York. <laughs> um, and after NYU, we went over to Trace Magazine and did an interview uh, with Miriam. Uh, she showed love. Uh, the interview went dope. Uh, but yeah, shout out to, to, to BET. Uh, for letting me be a part of the Music Matters uh, event uh, at Crash Mansion in New York, uh, which went well. And everybody else who showed up, shout out to them who came out and showed love. Thank you, New York, for showing me so much love and embracing me. I gotta come back more often. But everything went well. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for the next show? I got my man Q45 over here. Spending money don't kill me, nothing to me, nothing to me. So when we did the mall, point it out and be like, what to see? What to see? I think of all the things that I can do for you. Cause your body ain't style so foolish. Normally I don't do this, but I'm, I'm thinking I should be your sugar daddy. I think you just gotta draw your crowd in, uh, bring them in, give them something that's gonna keep their attention. Uh, I just think too that, you know, your musical arrangement, the thing that you do in your show, you know, you kinda have more freedom because, you know, people that are used to hearing it on the CD or the radio or whatever it is, but when they get to see you live, you know, you get an opportunity to do something a little different, do a different rendition of the song, or just add different things to it, like, you know, we did the I Get Paper joint, and we added the, the Isley Brothers money, money, money uh, to it uh, under the beat, which was dope. Um, just different things, man, just to spice up the show and give people something, you know, give them some entertainment, you know. Um, I think it's important to do that, you know. Don't do the same old, same old, just get up there and be like, you know. I think one of the best performers R&B wise that I've seen um, is R. Kelly, he's dope, you know. Him and the mic, that's it. Just <laughs> Him in the microphone, he's walking around the stage and you know, you can't keep your eyes off of him, he keeps you engaged. Um, powerful vocals, of course. He's got so many hits. I think that also helps <laughs> your show. If you get a bunch of hits under your belt, it makes it a little smoother, it makes it go a lot smoother. Who else? Uh, Maxwell's dope. Maxwell's real dope as far as R&B. Of course, then you got your performers like Usher and Chris Brown, who, who can tear up the stage, who uh, can dance as well as sing. So, you know, I think it's about having your own style, your own swag, and perfecting it. And, uh, you know, just giving the audience something that they'll remember. Third day was also filled. The schedule was full. Um, did a Concrete Loop photo shoot. Shout out to Concrete Loop. Um, I think it's just so cool that, you know, they would have me do something like that. You know, a blog, one of the top blogs, you know, uh, in the game. To, you know, even give me the opportunity to do a photo shoot or for them to even recognize me. Um, big shout out to everybody over there. Then uh, we did an uh, interview for Karma Loop, which is a clothing website, one of the best in the game. You know, I, I get a lot of my gear from there. Shout out Karma Loop. It's one of my favorite movies when I was learning how to dance. Check this out. Woo! Mm -hmm. I move forward. 
Peace. <laughs> yeah, killed it. <laughs> Shout out to Crooks and Castles showroom. Shout out to Flood Watches uh, for showing love. Uh, picked up some things over there. They got some hot, some pretty hot stuff coming out soon. Crooks and Castles um, and Flood Watches. So. Shout out to the only Bill of Launch for, for hooking that up for me. So basically what I'm doing with Hook vs. Ridge 1.5 is, is extending it, taking some of the favorites from the first one and adding a bunch of new, new joints to it. Um, it's going to be like an album all original, you know what I'm saying? Um, got a mixtape out called By Any Means. Which is more like hip hop based freestyles, you know, things like that. But this next one is gonna be all original theories. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to release it, you know what I'm saying? Um, album's coming soon, definitely. I got two titles uh, for it now. I'm not sure what I want it to be yet. One, one is uh, Love, um, as an acronym though, meaning Levels of Various Emotions. And the other one being Boy Meets Girl. Um, so basically, the album is just, you know, it, it, it'll be, it, it, it's about, you know, boy meets girl, uh, different relationships, you know, a guy that's in his 20s, what he's dealing with between career and, 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 and love, um, and, you know, sometimes the effect that your career might have on you, <laughs> on love, um, just different things that you go through, you know, wanting a relationship, then wanting to be single, wanting to have fun, and then wanting to settle down, um, and just the search of you know, finding real happiness, you know what I'm saying? And that's what the album, you know, that's what we're leading up to. But before that too, I got a tape dropping with the homie Ace Hood. Um, me and him gonna do a tape together. Should be dropping around Memorial, Memorial weekend, uh, Memorial Day or that weekend sometime in May. Nice.